Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Michael Pena Senior Show. I'm your host, Michael Pena Senior. It's June 12th, 2018, and this is episode 57. Listen, Snoop Dogg said, if you stop at general math, you're only going to make general math money. And you know, I love this quote by Snoop. I mean, I love Snoop Dogg. Who doesn't, right? Come on, right? But listen, I love this quote by Snoop because like I've been talking to a lot of people about money and and I just still feel like, and maybe this is the problem with society. Maybe this is why like Dave Ramsey always says he's always going to have a job and, and, I, and there's a lot of financial shows that people just don't get money. I just, and I don't get it sometimes that people don't get it. Um, and the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, when people talk to me, what they think a lot about a lot of money is, I don't think they understand general math, you know? Um, you know, one of the things that somebody brought up is that, um, a widower was left $250,000 and they thought that was great that that was, you know, she was set for life. I mean, listen, I'm going to tell you some general math right now. Okay, and this is what we're, we're going to talk about today. If you're left $250,000, basically the way that we base everything on is 10% of that. If you put in a good growth mutual fund, 10% of that for the rest of your life is $25,000 a year. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be living on $25,000 a year. It, it just, you know, you're eating dog food. I mean, the way the rate of uh, inflation and everything, the way that everything goes, $25,000 a year isn't enough. And this is what I want you to understand. This is what we're talking about today is general math, okay? And you, I, I always say, how much, how much is enough? You know, people don't understand how much is enough. When we talk about life insurance, and this is why we, we talk about, and you definitely need life insurance, especially when you're, you're following the baby steps and you're in debt. Because you want to be able to leave behind enough life insurance to replace your income for life, for your spouse or whoever you're leaving your money to. So in other words, that's why we take 10 times your income. And just to make the math general and easy, if you're making 50 grand a year, you take 10 times your income, which is 500,000, you should have a $500,000 life insurance policy. God forbid something happens to you during this time, okay? That we're going through the baby steps and you're not debt free. Well, guess what? When you leave that five hundred thousand dollars behind, and if you're receiving that five hundred thousand dollars, you're gonna put that in a good growth mutual fund, and then you're gonna get ten percent a year off of that, which is fifty thousand dollars a year. That's pretty easy general math, okay? So now you say, I don't want to live off fifty thousand dollars a year. And this is why I'm trying to get you through the baby steps so you can get into baby step four and you start investing and you start putting 15% of your income away. So now here goes the math. And, and I got excited. If you go to podbean.com and find my show, you know, follow the Michael Pena Senior Show podcast. I got so excited when I started talking about my UPS, my young UPS workers out there because you got such an opportunity and, and I don't think you understand if you follow my show and you follow my path and you become debt free, 100% you're going to be a millionaire if you're if you're driving a truck for UPS. You can be 100% and we're going to go over this today. Okay? So you say how much is enough? Well, if you're making and I'm going to use you know cuz we use these numbers for retirement, right? And if if you're if you I'm going to use UPS numbers just to keep things simple, okay? Um if you're driving full-time and you've been at UPS, let's say you're driving full-time for five years. You're out, of, you're out of baby step three. You've bought yourself a home. You're 100% debt-free except for your home. And now you're putting 15% of your income away for retirement. On top of your pension, all right? Yes, I want you to put 15% of your income away still, even though you're receiving a pension. Because you're going to listen to these numbers. Especially if you're a UPS worker, please listen to these numbers. I get so excited for you, all right? This is the opportunity that you have, and you can decide how much is enough. So listen, 
After five years, you're going to be making approximately $85,000 a year. 100% debt free except for your home. How great would that sound? Now, obviously you're going to have a life insurance policy to cover the cost of that home. God forbid something would happen. All right. But now over, you know, you should be able to pay your house off because you're, you're, you're 100% debt free but your home. You're putting 15% of your income away into retirement. And oh, by the way, you UPS workers, we get a pension, right? So now let's fast forward. You do this, let's say you're age 30. You started driving at age 25. You're 30 years old. And you're working full-time at UPS, 100% debt-free. Now, you've got to work 25 more years in order to get the full pension, right? So how about in that 25 years, you're putting away 15% of your income? Now, I'm just going in approximate numbers. If you're making 100000 a year over this course of time, which you should be able to do, that's $15,000 a year. So now you say, wait a minute, Mike, the math doesn't add up. My general math tells me that over 25 years, right, that's $375,000 that you put it away. But don't forget, if you're putting them in, in the 401k and the UPS 401k, because I contributed to it right now, it's getting approximately 8%. So you're a little under that 10% that I want you to be at. But let, let's just say it's still getting 10%. You're going to get 10% over that lifetime. You put $375,000, that's 15% of your income over that span from 30 to 55 years of age. You will 100% because of the compounded interest and receiving 10% a year, you'll have about $1.2 million in your 401k at age 55. And oh, by the way, you're going to have to work till 57 and a half. So you might as well just contribute another two and a half years on top of that, right? Now, if you're a UPS worker, and again, I'm using you guys as an example, because I get excited for you, right? I'm excited for you. And you, if you're working someplace else, obviously you work your numbers out someplace wherever you're working, but it's the same general math, right? So you got $1.2 million, let's say, when you retire from UPS. You've got your pension at 57 and a half. You're able, you're eligible to start collecting your pension. You're collecting $5,000 a month if you put in 30 years towards your pension. That's $60,000 a year. Now, here goes the thing, the bad news here. All right. And I always tell people this is a, a general math uh, study right now that every 20 years, everything doubles. Right. So technically, your income kind of goes down every 20 years, if you think about it. Right. Because everything, fun, um, you know, as far as you know, everything that the cost double. So something that cost you, you know, 10 bucks 20 years ago is 20 bucks today. All right. So you keep on using that math going forward, but you're making, that's what I mean. You don't know what 60 grand is going to be worth 20 years from now, 60 grand, 20 years from now, it could be worth 30,000 today. And that's what scares me. I don't want you to rely just on your pension. This is what scares me. Don't say, oh, I'm going to be making 60 grand, I'll be all set. No, you won't. No, you won't. If everything doubles, then 60 grand is going to be worth 30 grand today. But here goes the good news. If you followed my path, you got $1.2 million in your 401k, right? And if we go back to what I talked about at the beginning, you take 10% of that and you're putting that in a high growth mutual fund and now you're receiving 10% of that in retirement, that's $120,000 a year you'll be receiving, okay, on top of the $60,000. So in retirement, UPS workers, full-time, you follow my plan, at age 57 and a half, you'll be getting $180,000 a year in retirement. I don't know. That sounds pretty damn good to me. Even if things, you know, every 20 years, things double or you decrease your income, if that hundred eighty thousand is worth ninety thousand today, I think that's a pretty damn good living. And at age fifty seven and a half, guess what? I think you'd be young enough and healthy enough to get a part time job or do something. Because I'd go crazy. I'd go crazy. I'm gonna have to work for the rest of my life, even if I have those numbers coming at me. All right. So I'll be doing something to keep myself busy. But will you listen to this general math? 
Will you please follow me? $250,000 is not enough. I don't want 25 grand a year. Just using my numbers that I told you 20 years from now, that 25 grand a year is going to be worth 12,000 a year. Who the hell can live on 12,000 a year? I don't know. You're eating dog food or something. Oh, by the way, if you follow my plan, UPS workers and, and everybody out there, you're 100% debt free, including your home. You're receiving this income. You, you can do volunteer work because you're making enough. You can do whatever you want. This is what gets me excited for you. All right. So listen, if, if you need help with this and you want me to help you, please get in touch with me at coachp2210 at yahoo.com. My UPS guys are set up. And because you probably didn't go to college, you don't have college debt. What's wrong with that? I mean, these numbers just blow me away and I'm happy for you. And, and, you know, some of you guys out there that I'm working with that I hope are following my show. I mean, seriously, sit down with me. I want to make sure that you stay on this path. I want to make sure that things go right for you. So listen, follow me on podbean.com. Get, get on, you know, like my page at Pina Financial Coaching. That's on Facebook. And if you have any questions about this, Tell me how much is enough for you because the sky's the limit, all right? So listen, I'm living my passion one day at a time. I want to win. I want to help you win. Let's win this together.